Okay, so brace yourself. It starts way back in 2004 when I get that job. I didn't want to, didn't think I'd love it, ended up loving it. Over about an eight-year span, I did pretty much every job imaginable inside the law firm. I went from being just a legal assistant to uh, paralegal to office manager to office manager over two offices to even at the towards the end, I was actually representing clients at hearings for work comp cases that you didn't have to be an attorney for. Mm-hmm. So I was a hearing advocate um, for some of these clients. So I did everything inside the law firm, and I became really, really close friends with the attorneys. And again, like I started off saying, I had never, ever wanted to do anything with law. That was not on my radar. Until one day I'm sitting in a meeting with the attorneys, and I got wind of how much money they made every month. And I said, yeah, maybe I'll be an attorney. That doesn't sound like a bad job. So I uh, signed up for law school. I did the LSAT. You know, my family, I mean, we're, my dad was a carpet layer my whole life. You know, like we don't do a secondary education, let alone professional degrees. And so I had graduated from UNLV with a degree in Spanish by that point and decided to go to law school. So did the whole thing. Some of the parts I wish I would have learned, well, I learned a bunch about how law schools function. Unfortunately, <laughs> I learned them in the wrong way. Um, but we didn't know any better. I didn't know any better. I was choosing I, I think schools. A lot of, I think a lot of attorneys would agree with you on that. It's surprising. It's surprising. Yes. Uh, many, when, when I finished the story, many people are like, oh, you got lucky. Um, so I get accepted to like five different schools around the country. We go in and visit all the schools and, and I liked a lot of them. Ended up picking California Western down in San Diego uh, for a number of reasons. Proximity, easy to come back on the weekends, uh, a lot of different reasons. So picked that school. I didn't know much more about the school than they taught law like every other law school did. So I go through my first year of law school and I get to the end of my first year and I rolled right into the summer semester because I was going to do it in two and a half years instead of three years. So I'm halfway through my summer semester when grades come out for the first semester, or for the first year. And I learned an important thing about law school at that point. And that is that every law school, every law school, not just my law school, every law school cuts a bottom percentage of their first year class. And they do that so that they can keep their bar passage rates up. They believe at least that if you're going to not do good your first year of law school, you're probably not made for this. You won't pass the bar. That'll look bad on us if we don't output bar passing attorneys. But the bigger problem was that the school that I happened to choose, different than all the other schools, there's like five law schools, maybe four uh, law schools down in San Diego. I happened to choose the law school that, well, most law schools across the board cut the bottom like 3%. Like that's kind of an average number, 3%. So if you're in a class of 100, like three kids go home. The school I happened to choose cut the bottom third. And so... A third of the class went home after the first year. I'm halfway through the second semester already, and here I am getting noticed that I'm not welcome back at the school anymore. And, man, I had just had my first baby at that point. We had relocated. We had a lease that still went on for another three months. You know, we were – it was quite the the world-rocking experience. So, needless to say, my attorney career at that point came to an abrupt halt. Mm. 